Hi, my name is Adolfo Neto, and I'm here to talk about TDD with Livebook. So, in this video, I'm not going to talk about, I'm not going to explain what TDD is or what Livebook is. I'm just going to show you how to do TDD with Livebook. I learned that by reading this blog post on the Elixir Newbie blog, which is by Brooklyn Myers, and who point me, pointed me to this blog post was David Bernheisel. So let's do it. I'm going, I have uh, my life book here. I'm going to create a new notebook and let's, let's suppose we are going to do something like a calculator. A very simple example. Here in this first section, I'm going to leave the code. And in the second uh, session, I'm going to leave the tests. So suppose I have a module. No, let's create a module called calculator test. And I have to go here to... Brooklyn Myers post, and I will have to add this, the first line, the last line is going to be this one. Well, first I have to end this module and I'm going to do that. So X unit start out run false. X unit run is the last line. And when I do use at use X unit case, I have to add that async is false. So this is different from what happens when you create a mixed project, but that's okay. So let me create a describe here an addition testing the addition function do and let's suppose oh no I have to do a assert calculator add two and three two plus three equals to five that's how you do TDD. You first write the test. When you are writing the test, you are kind of designing your module. And then you run the tests. You have to run the tests. The test failed because the function calculator add is undefined. So here I'm going to define a module called calculator. And I'm going to define a function called add that and here I'm doing baby steps because I'm going to return five here. One thing that I believe it doesn't work is that let me try here. I'm going to click on reevaluate. It didn't work. So first I have to reevaluate the code and then run the tests again. Zero failures, perfect. Uh, oh, sorry, I, I should have done this. Um, two plus three is five. And, okay. Now, let me add another test. 2 plus 2 is 4, 2, 2 is 4. Let me run the tests. Uh, what happened? Ah, yes, I, I, I forgot the 2 here. So now the first test passes, but the second test fails. So 
it's very easy to solve a and b a plus b now you see if i run the tests again it doesn't work but if i reevaluate the code and then run the tests it passes both tests uh, i can format here yes format document perfect and let me just and test testing the multiplication function two times three is six let me comment these tests uh reevaluate ah sorry multiply six if i click on reevaluate and the finite function multiply perfect then i have to go here def multiply babe steps mode i will return six reevaluate evaluate here three tests passed and now two times 20 is 40 and 2 times 20 is 40 I run the tests it's failing perfect because all I have to do here is multiply a times b let me format the document here, reevaluate, run the tests, and that's it. That's how you do it. You just have to, to write a test, then write the code. Write a test, then write the code. Eventually, you might need to refactor your code. That's TDD. With Livebook. Ah, and I can if it's a live book and i can write calculator with tdd of course when you create some code with tdd you don't know if it was by looking at the code you don't know if it was created with tdd so i'm just going to export click here on cop source create a gist calculator with tdd and i'm going to call it calculator tdd.md and create a secret gist it could could be a public gist how do i make it public i know there is an option where you I, th I thought there was an option for that where you make uh but okay it's perfect this way and you see i i named it dot md instead of let me save here when i save here i'm going to call it calculator tdd and enter it saves as dot live md but if if i save as a as dot live md it doesn't look good here and here with this link if you go to livebook.dev if you go to livebook.dev you can click here run livebook locally or in the cloud launch on fly.io which i i let me close this window and yes no it doesn't work now because what i wanted yeah it's better to to show here with brooklyn myers code you see here there is a run in life book um run in life book button 
if I click here, it says in your um, let me if you click here on run live book, no run notebook, it opens live book with that code here. But I didn't do that. It's it's possible to, to do that. Let me see if I, I can do that easily. Uh, I, I know I have to go to livebook.dev, create batch, your notebook URL, let me see, markdown, I see that there's some kind of bug with GitHub because I click edit, oh, now it, it's shown. Let me update the secret gist. Okay, now if I click, yes, I have to try to do this in an anonymous window because it's, oh, yes. So see, I'm here, calculator with TDD. I click run in live book and it asks, do you already have Livebook running? I do. Adolfo Antitude Live no, Fly.dev Running Notebook. It asks me for my password. Oh, where is my... Why it's... Ah, now it worked. And here is my, see, if I click here, it won't work. No, it worked. Maybe because it was already there. I'm not sure, but it's working here. The, the problem is that it adds this section here, which is not what I want, but I believe I can solve this by doing this uh, live book button. Okay, that's it. I'm going to leave this link in the description. And also let me add here Brooklyn Myers blog post, David Bernheisel tweet, this is uh, something I have done before, which is, um, let me give a name to this. This one is a little bit more complex because it uses a struct, it creates a struct, but it's the, the same thing basically. And there is some kind of instructions here. And there is some other, this one is too simple. I'm just going to, going to leave the link here. Okay. So that's it for TDD with Livebook. If you want to learn more, Maybe in a future video, I'm going to explore more how to, to do TDD with Lightbook. I'm not sure it's a good idea because maybe for TDD, you should create a mixed project. I see Brooklyn is using the TDD with Lightbook because what he expects is that a student is going to create the code and he's going to have the tests for that code, which is basically what exorcism does. But for me, it's very important that the student also writes his tests, his or her tests. So there are tests. So it's important for me to, to develop the ability to create your own tests. 
Thank you very much. See you next video. Bye.